What is good and welcome back to another episode of The Hobbyist. For today's episode, I'm going to talk about a recent experience I had with eBay, the the Authenticity Guarantee Program, and most importantly, the USPS. Uh, First, let me say this. Let me say that this isn't my first experience with eBay's Authenticity Guarantee Program. Uh, Overall, I think it is a good program. But I don't think it's warranted for all cards over a certain price point. And let me de- let me kind of describe to you what happened. So in this case, involved is a 2021-22 Panini 1 and 1 basketball card. It is the Ray Allen 75th uh, anniversary team signatures card. Uh, because of the way these cards are structured, It would be very difficult to counterfeit. It has a type of window box structure to it, which I'm not saying it couldn't be counterfeited. I'm just saying it would be a lot more labor intensive for a counterfeiter to produce. Um, I just think that the buyer should be given the opportunity to say whether or not they want the card to be sent for authenticity review. Now, for all cards, Uh, CGC, formerly known as CSG, which is in Florida, reviews these cards for authenticity for eBay. I live in California, so in this case, the card had to travel from Maine, where it originated from, to Florida, then to me in California. The process unnecessarily added additional shipping time from the seller to me and prolong the card's exposure to be lost or stolen. Especially factoring in that most individuals that will handle the package after it leaves the CGC facility knows that the package would contain a card over a certain value and the packaging for a single card is you know, all the same. It would be a prime target for what was, it was what I'm getting at. It would be a prime target for a dishonest person that is involved to be in, that is involved in the package handling, I should say. So basically, this is what happened to me. Here's my story. Uh, back on June 8th, 2023, I successfully submitted the winning bid for this autographed Ray Allen card. I'm collecting the set and have completed the portion of base autograph cards that are numbered up to 99. Uh, for now, I'm working on the base autograph cards that are numbered up to 49. For this card, I made payment on June 8th, as you can see, and the seller created the shipping label on June 9th. And USPS took possession of the package on June 12th. The package then made its way through the main USPS facilities, um, the 12th through the 13th, and began processing through the Florida USPS facilities from the 14th through the 15th. The authentication hub then uh, received the package on June 15th and the card was authenticated the same day. Like I said, it's not hard to authenticate these cards. A new package and tracking number was initiated on June 16th by CSG and it began its journey from Florida to California. Eventually, my hometown USPS facility took possession of the package on June 19th. It then started working through the network of facilities to the USPS facility that would make the final delivery. Um, I had been keeping tabs on this because I was very anxious to receive the card and add to my collection. So on June 20th, um, I took note that the package was marked out for delivery at about 6.10 a.m. Everything seemed pretty normal. Then, I got a tracking notification that the package had been refused because I set up uh, my USPS app to let me know uh, when there was a new notification issued. So I was confused about this. Uh, First, I thought maybe the post office had delivered to the wrong address but it didn't make sense because I'd never had a card that went through the eBay authenticity program. 
um, to require a signature. It was always delivered to my mailbox, which is why I was keeping close tabs on it. Um, because I didn't want it sitting there for a long time to, you know, I didn't want it exposed for theft. Um, then came the next head scratching notification, which said it was returned to sender. Return to sender processed is the actual wording. Um, I couldn't reconcile why the package was being returned to sender if it was delivered to the wrong address. You know, why wouldn't they just try to deliver it, re-deliver it? So I started, you know, my wheel started spinning in my head and all kinds of things kind of popped up in my brain. The only thing I could think uh, was wrong with, the only thing I could think of was that maybe something was wrong with the package, uh, like it was severely damaged, or maybe the delivery label was, you know, unreadable, so they couldn't deliver it. Um, so at that point, I attempted to contact CSG support via email. Um, they did take a few days to get back to me. And when they did, they basically said that because it was an eBay transaction, I had to contact eBay. Uh, at least, you know, at that point, they at least provided me the contact number to eBay support. So that was, you know, somewhat helpful. Uh, so that was my next step. It was to contact eBay, and which I did on a Sunday afternoon. Uh, when I contacted eBay support, I explained the situation to them, to the agent. Uh, she tried to be helpful, but because it was a Sunday, she wasn't able to contact anyone from CSG to get um, information that you know would be helpful to us. She then asked if she could provide me an answer the following day. I told her it wasn't a problem, and we pretty much ended the support call after a couple minutes. That was more than a couple minutes. It was a few minutes, but so. Monday came and went, nothing from eBay. Tuesday came, still nothing from eBay. Uh, Wednesday finally rolled around and I was thinking in my head, I should probably reach back out to eBay to, you know, see what's going on. Um, but before I could, uh, I did receive an email from the support person I was working with. And she regretted to inform me that the card had been lost on its way to me. Quote, unquote, lost. My quotes, not hers. Uh, the card wasn't lost, in my opinion. It was stolen out of the package. That's the only conclusion that makes sense to me. It's the only way that a package could be refused and returned to sender. Um, the package, like I said... the package itself was not lost just the contents were which means the card was stolen from the packaging that's the that's the only way around it uh, since then I've only seen one other Ray Allen 75th team signature card and that one was numbered 12 of 49 because yes I have been trying to keep an eye out for the number 11 of 49 that was the card that I had uh, purchased um this one was 12 of 49. I was not successful in my bid attempt for that one. And there are other parallel numbered cards of, of these players in the set. Uh, but I'm only interested in the base versions. So I'm not trying to go after any of the parallel versions. Unless it gets to a point where I have to. But for, for now, I'm trying to stay patient and only go after the, the base set. So, that is my story for today. My boohoo story, my woe is me story. Um, thank you for tuning in and listening. In the comments below, if you'd like to, I'd like to hear your thoughts on the eBay Authenticity Program or USPS. <laughs> I, under, I understand that the Authenticity Program isn't really to blame for what happened to the card. I mean, they, they did what they had to do. You know, they received the card, they authenticated it, and they shipped it out. Um, but because the card had to unnecessarily travel from Maine to Florida before it headed, headed my way, it was exposed. And 
I believe the packaging also brought additional attention to it from any would-be thief. Again, thanks for tuning in. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Take care of yourselves. And until next time, collect what you like and have fun doing it. I'll see you in the next one.